Diana, come clean the poop. Then how do you take care of it, Mom? Are you for real? Why are you pointing it at me? Holy! I would say 90% of our fights are because of the dogs. Diana, come on. It's kind of smeared. That's so vile. It's gross. But Diana, you're doing it. It's ridiculous the amount of time that's spent arguing. It's not on my list of things I like to do. Oh, I love it. That's how I party every day. I, I can't do this anymore. Oh, that's disgusting. They relieve themselves all over my house. Every second of every minute of every hour of every day. A hundred times a day. I completely killed a rainforest on my own just cleaning up after these dogs. You know what? It's too much to come home and, and find lake, literally lakes of urine. And sometimes there's poop, but it's mostly urine, huge amounts. The peeing multiple is times not only once a day, multiple, multiple. Not exaggerating. Multiple. Over 15. Yeah. Over 15 yeah. times mm -hmm. a day. Wow. Yeah. So, so Easy. who cleans it up? Um, the fingers point to <laughs> the cement. You do. Yeah. 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 Do. This has a problem with that. Oh, you do? You don't like cleaning it, up? It, it skews me out. OK. Yeah. During the work year, when I come home mm -hmm. and there's poop and pee, I get so overwhelmed, I start screaming, then I start crying, and I go in my room and I go to sleep because I can't even deal with it, because... Because you haven't cleaned it up. Yeah. You're 16 years old. Yeah. Who wants to, at 16 years old, clean up yeah. dog poop and urine? Why are you expecting your poor mother to do it all? Why? I mean, I'm not home a lot. When I'm home, I will. When you're home, yeah. I can't expect you to do something if you're not here. I know, but uh, you have. You've, you also, I've come home and there have been poop left over from the night before well, that you yeah. just didn't feel like cleaning up. Well, and then, then you, I get you on saw, your- You saw it. Yeah, but you saw it first. From now on, you are doing it. I wanted to bring you guys to the zoo. OK. <laughs> I just thought we deserved a bit of a day out. OK. And this is John. Hi, John. And Hi. he's an instructor it's here at the Dory. zoo. This is uh, Staten Island Zoo. We're welcome to help you. We're going to uh, get an up-close tour of the uh, domestic center where they keep the horses and the goats, the sheep, uh -oh. and all that. So come on back, Ooh, and we'll get cool. you up close. And oh, I like that. Yeah. Special tour. I thought it was going to be good for us to learn a little bit about animal behavior. OK. I have a surprise for Diana, which she is going to hate. When we got to the zoo, I wasn't sure what was happening. Good grief! Okay. Look at all of this poop <laughs> oh here. Oh, my goodness. I wonder who's going to clean it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I took Diana to the zoo because I wanted to show her that actually what she had to do was really no big deal. It was gross. It was so gross. You see, I thought <sighs> seeing this and seeing what John has to do every day is going to make the maybe few times that you have to do it look a lot easier. Can you do this? OK. It's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> All right. You just shovel it up and it goes inside the garbage. How easy is that? Oh, God. Oh, stop. Yeah. Oh, my. Come on, dang it. Oh, this is, this smell is. And because I'm not so nasty that I'm not going to do it myself, <laughs> I'm going to help you. <gasps> oh, OK. Twice a day as well, so this is. Okay, I don't know, Diane, beautiful. I see little poops. Are you directing yeah. how she does it? I feel like I'm home. Boy. There's some food to see. You missed that little spot over there. Feel Morgan. free. And put you some know. pep in your step. Doreen was really enjoying seeing Diana pick up the poop. So I thought, you know what? As you're so good at directing, Doreen, <laughs> get in here, girl. You want me to? This doesn't bother me. See, she's used to it. Yeah, this sure. is my life. I do this all day long. I am not the problem. I don't need a lesson in poop. I can give lessons in poop. I have a degree in poop. How oh, about sure. you roll around in it, Mom? <laughs> Diana. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Do you want me to throw some at you? That is heavy. This is such an important exercise for these guys because they have to work as a team. 
Animals give us love and affection. And in return, they don't ask for much. One thing that we can do for them is to clean up after them and to keep their space as comfy as possible. <sighs> How's the last half an hour of your life been? Um, pretty <laughs> <laughs> It yeah. just about sums yeah. it up, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if the message hasn't hit home now, it never will. Message received. All right, good. No more arguments. That's it. No more it. arguments. Take responsibility. OK, thank you. OK, thanks. Thanks, John, for letting us come here. Come back any time and help. <laughs> All right. All right, <laughs> let's go. One of Otto and Chubby's biggest issues is no longer a point of contention with the family. Let me check all the spatties. Oh, what the good puppies! No more accidents in the house means that not only are the dogs happier, but so are Dorian and Diana. Oh, 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 that's a good puppy. I gotta say, you did get better. Like, if there is poop and pee, and you are home and I ask you to do it, yeah, you, you do do it. The arguing between me and Diane about the dogs has pretty much been non-existent. She understands that I'm busy. I understand that I have to help her out. You know, it's not worth the fighting anymore. Seeing Diana doing her own part with the dogs is really fantastic. Pitching in is not only going to help her relationship with her mother, but will also strengthen the bond with her dogs.